come on. Pick up your phone. Please, where are you? I'm freezing out here. Oh, hi. Good evening. Um, I'm doing okay. Well, you know, besides the fact that I forgot my keys inside and my roommate isn't picking up and I'm freezing my butt off and getting rainwater splashed in my face by the wind, I'm doing okay. What about you? How's your night going so far? Oh, you just got off work? That's nice. Your job must be tough, huh? Seeing how you're home this late. I mean, it's not like midnight late, but still... Later than usual, I guess. You you must be a really hard-working individual. You've gone from dusk till dawn pretty often, so that must mean you're working hard almost every day. I mean, just from my observation, you seem like a really hard-working person. Not like I'm stalking you or anything. It's... It's just that we're neighbors, and you low-key pique my interest. A quiet and reserved person who seems like they got a lot going on, but still keep their head down and going through life like everything is normal. Again, just an observation of mine. I don't know much about you, so I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> Sorry, I was blabbering again. My roommate called me the yapper, uh, cause... Uh, well, because I yap too much. Huh? Me? Come inside your place. Um... I'm not sure. I don't want to be a bother to you. Plus, my roommate is almost home, I think. I hope. Thank you for the offer, though. That was very kind of you. Okay, on second thought, may I come in and wait till my roommate gets back? Thank you so much. I won't bother you too much. I'll skedaddle right away as soon as my roommate gets home. <laughs> wow, you live like this? It's very... C what? Oh, no. I meant your place looks very cozy. I love what you did with the place. I'm... I'm really sorry. I... I didn't mean to sound rude. I can see how what I said can be interpreted as condescending and rude, but I swear I didn't mean it to sound like that. I'm sorry. Oh, you were just joking. Ha ha. Ha ha. I didn't know you were funny, too. I'll just sit here and wait for my roommate. So, um, what do you do for a living? Oh, okay, that's cool. I bet it pays really well considering you were able to afford this place. I just want to reiterate that I love what you've done to the place. It looks very cozy. Me and my roommate living that rental life. The struggle is real. And I don't think I can even afford rent by myself, let alone a house. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford a house. Maybe when I'm 80 and if I win the lottery or something. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Oh, I'm okay with anything, really. I'll, I'll take water. Cold water, if you have some. What? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, this kind of weather usually pairs well with a hot drink, like coffee or hot cocoa. So it seems kind of weird to be drinking cold water when it's raining outside. But I don't want to bother you more than I already have. Plus, I don't know if I'll stay here for long since my roommate should be back soon. I hope. So, you know, water is fine for me. Oh, you were already making hot chocolate. Well, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. You're so kind to a stranger like me. I mean, we're neighbors, but we haven't interacted with each other much. So technically speaking, 
We're still strangers, but we're not acquaintances. Neighbors? Acquainted neighbors. <laughs> I, I was just being silly. So, um, have you had dinner yet? I'm sorry for asking too many questions. I don't know what else to say. I was just trying to avoid the awkward silence between us. Unless you prefer complete silence, then I'll stop talking. You don't mind it. <laughs> okay. Then I'll keep yapping, I guess. Did you have dinner? Already had takeout. A good move, considering you're a really busy person, right? You probably don't have time to cook a meal for yourself. Hey, if you don't mind, you can stop by our place for dinner sometimes, or I can even cook for you. Hmm? No, it's okay. You can think of it like I'm returning you a favor or something like that. I don't mind cooking for other people at all. And besides, isn't cooking for your neighbors something people used to do in the past? I mean, I don't really know for certain, so don't quote me on it. Yeah, so whenever you're free, or you have a little time to spare, you can stop by my place and I'll make something for you. You know, people told me that my signature dish is to die for. I mean, other people said that, not me. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Huh? Hmm? Huh? You got me a blanket too? That's so kind of you. You really shouldn't have. I guess it is getting kind of chilly right now, so thank you. Wait, are you sure you want me to have this blanket? Aren't you cold too? No? Are you sure? I mean, if you don't mind, we can share this blanket for now. <laughs> it's okay. I don't really mind, plus this is nothing compared to what you've done for me. Okay, ow. That was hotter than I expected. <laughs> what? It was an honest mistake. I didn't think it would still be that hot. Also, I don't know if I should say this, but you look really tired. I mean, I know you've been working long hours and all, but you look like a walking corpse. No, no, no. I'm not judging you for that or anything. It just looks like you really needed a rest. That's all. So, um, do you want to lay on my lap? You can rest and take a quick nap if you want. It's okay, I insist. It's the least that I can do for you anyway. <laughs> it's alright, I don't bite. <laughs> Come here. Lay down on my lap. There you go. Just like that. I'll pull the blanket around you. Just like this. Doesn't that feel nice and cozy? It feels somewhat blissful, isn't it? Go ahead and close your eyes and rest for a bit. It's alright. Nothing will be able to bother you anymore. You're safe here with me. You must have been tired mentally and physically. The dark shade of your eye bags. The soulless gaze. A slight slouch of your posture. I can tell. It's okay. You can rest now. Can you feel my hand running through your hair gently? I'll give you a head pat. There you go. It must have been tough for you to go through life alone like this. But it's alright. 
Use this moment to rest up. Can you feel my hand gently caressing your face? Relax your face muscles. Unclench your jaw. Everything is going to be all right. You're going to be okay. You're safe with me, so just go ahead and sleep.